people leave, people come. Let's go Artemis. It's about 130 k's to Halls Creek. And we are out of here. these spots along the way so that you could wild camp them. That was great. So I bought some supplies from the IGA. I got some fresh bread rolls and a beautiful potato, egg and bacon salad and slices of roast beef and had a yummy lunch. And I would have shown you, except I got bailed up by three young Aboriginal lads, uh, grade six, grade seven and grade eight. And spent one hour talking to them. Great kids, particularly one boy, little Jonathan, so articulate and has a Honda CRF 125 and uh, wants to play footy and go to Clontarf. Boy, can that kid talk to an adult? I love it when I come across kids that just can have a brilliant conversation with an adult. It's a rarity in this day and age. That was brilliant. Alright, time to continue the journey. Don't know where, I'm just going to keep riding. I can't ride anymore and find somewhere to camp. Can't, I haven't earmarked anything along the way. Don't know how many more kilometres to bring, but my next supplies is 300 kilometres down the road, apparently. So, we will see, said the blind man. Oh, my front brakes have faded. I reckon they might have some four coil on them, perhaps. All right. Look at that! 79 kilometers to go and my baby girl 
70,000 and two. <laughs> 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 Seventy thousand. Look at that. Seventy thousand and two. Darling girl. You're a fucking legend. What can I say? You are a legend. I mean, it's a two fifty. It was never meant to be a long haul adventure bike. She's just, I just can't explain to you what she means to me. <laughs> I just can't explain to you what this girl means to me. <laughs> She's a legend, absolute legend. Taking me places, showing me things, pulled me out of the shit, got me in the shit. <laughs> 70,000 kilometers. Two years, three months old. Oh, April, May, June, into July. Oh, look at these pretty little flowers. Look at that. Yeah. Good on you, darling girl. You do, you rock my world. <laughs> Turned it upside down and inside out. <laughs> Seventy thousand kilometers spewing. She should have celebrated it on the dirt. Poor girl. And the little Aboriginal boys back in Halls Creek were saying how Mary River or Mary Watering Hole was sensational. Should be there. <laughs> spewing. Oh, well, carry on to Fitzroy River. Be my beautiful wings. Woohoo! Yeah, I was so close to Wolf Creek. Spewing. Anyway. So, yeah, I'll get a few things done. I'll get my gear lever fixed up, the fork seal fixed up, get that new battery, oil and filter change, and that'll see me through. It's almost 5,000 since my last Thank you. 
it. Packing up to hit the road again. <laughs> Had a great night's sleep. My little wind shelter was just bang on. Yeah, so it's really cute. It's just talking to this older couple in the caravan. Good on them, hitting the road. And um, they were saying, oh, you know, we're surprised, you know, that you slept like that and we're well, okay. And, you know, it's so funny. When we were kids and mum would give us, you know, a bunch of old sheets and you'd have an old table out the back and some old chairs and you made your little bloody tents out of it and slept in overnight and made your little snackies and your friends and giggled your late and, you know, that's what this is like. We're so conditioned to, you know, our city luxuries are, you know, four solid walls and our air conditioning and our heating and our TV and our internet, that we've lost the joy of what it was like to be kids, you know? So for me on this journey, when I sleep under a shelter or sleep out in the open or whatever, it's like reclaiming our youth back again. And I love it. I love it. It's fun. I've got luxuries at home. Lots of them. Well, I've got rid of a lot of them, but you know, this is living. This is fun. This is adventure. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm just a barrel dirt chick. Living life is just gold. Right, let's carry on. <laughs> Stop it spraying up all over me. Can't rave about hair ties enough, people. It's the one thing in my kit that I use <laughs> so often. <laughs> Look how versatile they are. <laughs> oh, they're all, all soaked. Dispose of them while I've got a bin. So, yeah, freaking gold. Love my hair ties. <laughs> uh, and my baby wipes. <laughs> Never carry enough of those either. Right, keep on. Nothing behind. Let's go. That's a great little 24 hour rest stop. Right, music maestro. pretty the way the trees are growing and the spin effects of little little spin effects they look like soft little fluffy pom-poms but you know about it when you stub your toes on it <laughs>
Ladies? 12 ladies. my bike, put my stuff in my tent and uh, ride down to the gorge and she said no we've got security issues I wouldn't recommend you leave anything of value and uh, so I'll heed that and same again for when I ride up to the gorge it's about a 1k walk in there's several walks but yeah not advised to leave your stuff there so this is kind of gonna be my issue but you know what I'm just happy to be on a patch of green lawn but I have wor warned everyone about findies on the lawn so try not to get a puncture in my air mattress because I've been there before and done that and I don't want to be doing that again so this looks like a freaking sensational perfect spot water park bench lawn and I just caught up with one of my sister's friends from back in Perth Sam and her kids so she lives and works here with the Aboriginal Corporation and uh, they're eating a fabulous Kimberley burger, which, as I was talking to them, got my mouth frothing. So i got to go up and get a cider, and actually I might even just ride up or I'll just get undressed a bit. Yeah. 